Success 2016, Module 3, Part 4. In this segment, we're going to be looking at an exact match query. We're going to be also looking at the Show Field option and how that works. So let's go ahead and get back into our Riverview database. And we are going to again go to the Create tab and Query Design. This time we are going to be adding several tables. We need to add our owner table. Then we need to add our animal table. Remember you can double click or you can click on it once and then click Add. So we'll click on Visit and click Add. Either way that you add them is fine. So once we have those three tables, we're going to go ahead and close the Show Table box. Now again, if you realized you forgot one, you can click the Show Table button here on the ribbon and it will open that dialog box back up for you. I am going to enlarge these two tables to make sure that I can see all of the fields in the table. All right, now I'm going to choose from my animal table first. So I'm going to start out with the animal name then the animal birth date, and the animal type. Then we're going to go to our visit table and add the visit date and the reason. Now I am double clicking each of these fields. If you realized you forgot to add one, you can drag it and drop it in the location you want it. We're going to next add the first name, the last name, the phone, and the email. You want to make sure for your homework and your exams that you add the fields that are specified and only the fields that are specified, and they must be in the exact order they are given to you in the assignment or they will be marked wrong. Now, under the Amer animal type field, in the criteria row, you're going to click in that box under animal type and you're going to type the word dog and hit enter. I only want to see dogs in my group. So when I hit run, I should only see dogs. You always want to review the results of your query to make sure it matches what your criteria was instructing you to do. So if I had typed dog and I looked at this and there was something other than dogs, I would need to go back and review that criteria for typing error, errors to see if maybe I put it in the wrong field. Uh, just, just verify that there are no errors. Okay, so you can see that right now we only see dogs. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And we are going to call this dog animal type. Now what if I didn't want the field animal type to show? Because I've said up here 
But this query is only going to show me dog animal types. Every record in this query set has the same answer. So I really don't need to see that column. So one thing I could do is I can go back into design view. And if you look at the dog field, this animal type field, you'll notice there's a button right above the criteria. If you uncheck that box which says show, that field will not be visible in your query set. So we're going to go ahead and click run. And now you can see that the word dog, that field type of animal type, is not there anymore. It's still a part of our query. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to create a new query because I want to show you the difference. So if I quick click Query Design, and I'm going to choose, so we're going to just choose the animal table for this one. We're going to make it simple and quick. I'm going to add three fields. So I'm going to add the animal name, the birth date, and the type. Okay, and then I'm going to say dog. Oops. And then I'm going to run. Okay, so you can see it worked. So I'm just going to say, we're going to save this as dog test. Now you can see, I don't need this field to show. Right now, I have 17 records. So what if I came back here and said, you know what? I don't need this field. So I'm going to highlight the animal type and delete it. Oh, didn't want to do that. That's the query type. I need to delete the column. Now when I click run, look how many records I have. The reason you cannot delete the whole field is because the criteria is in that field. So if you delete the field, you lose the fact that it was supposed to be only dogs. So if you click Run and get back to that 17, you can see by unshowing it, I maintain the criteria but I don't see the field. So you want to make sure anytime you're using a field as a sort or a criteria that if you don't want to see the field in your data set you have to uncheck the box. If they tell you not to show something they want you to use this show box. I'm going to go ahead and save that. We're going to close the test. Okay, so now we can modify a query. So we've modified it to not include our show. Another thing we might want to do is move a field. So let's go back into our design view. And what if I wanted to move the owner information 
so that it was at the very beginning the first name last name phone and email I want all of these to go before the animal name so you're gonna click on the column to highlight it click on it a second time and you'll get the dark line move the dark line to the place you'd like it to be and release the mouse so I'm going to do this for all four of these fields click it once to highlight it click it and hold whoops click it once to highlight it click it and hold down the mouse to get the dark line so that you can move it click it once to highlight it. Notice I'm clicking all the way up on this gray area at the top. Click again to drag the dark line to where you want it placed. And then we're going to click run. And now you can see that it rearranged our fields in our query. So let's go ahead and save those changed. So again, in design view, if you want to move something, you're going to, let's say I wanted the email first, click on it once, click on it a second time and hold it down. You see the dark line move the dark line where you want it and it will move it. If we want to move it back I'm just going to click on it once to select it click on it a second time holding the mouse down move the dark line until it's where I want it and that will place it there. I'm going to save these changes and that completes this query.